I had to learn, all right, I got to start getting up on their chin. Yeah. Head button. So I started learning how to head butt first. Get the motherfucking day, then I can use my hand. Yeah, I just sometimes I'm gonna be too big. It's not legal at all. Welcome back to the A. Why the fuck, bro? Back in the motherfucking field. Back in this bitch. Back in Nash. That's nothing but nothing, yeah. baby. Hey, that's what we do. And then past that rope was the, the hood. Fuck the He said, Oh, you want a shot? I said, Shit. Uh, yeah, nigga. I'm in the city, fuck with me, and I got yeah. fucking city. Light it up, light it up. What the fuck y'all been doing for the past month? Sheesh. What you been doing, right? Man, what, you Who? Been what you been doing? What you been doing? But now, been, what I'm you bad. been doing? What you been doing? I mean, shit, working, bro. You know, we Yo. still moving around. Same old, same old. I ain't got no know? job. Huh? I ain't got no job. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. I'm on the ploy gang, bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> they, just... they look like, what you want to do, DB? Maybe on vacation. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what you want to do with DB then? I'm going to wash the car today. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said, I'm going to go to a museum today. Right. Fuck oh, it. God. What you mean? Nah, museum I'm going to go to the museum I'm today. going to the museum. Man, right, yeah. I'm going to go hoop. Yeah. <laughs> you been hooping? Lifetime? Nah, nah, I ain't been hooping. Nah, he has nah, not been hooping. I was just bullshit. I'm about right. to say, I said, you Big been bullshit. hooping? I know. I I'm going to let you know when I'm hooping. That wasn't one of them times. It ain't been no time yeah, recently. Sir. I feel you. I feel I've been, you. but nah, man, we just... <laughs> What's up, uh, though? I don't know. Just need a little getaway, man, because you yeah. know. Life. It's the, yeah, life, man. I'm going to tell you the truth. Like, this is the first time in 20, 21 years, 20 years, nigga ain't playing football, you know? Shit different. No cap since the fourth grade, baby. Shit fourth different. Grade. Fourth Sheesh. grade. Fourth grade. GYAA Raiders, baby. Since then. So that it been twenty? I guess let me see. Yeah, cause you was one, fourth 14? grade ten. Fourth grade nigga. Ten. Ten. Man. Ten. Shit. Yeah. I can't count, bro. I don't know. Ten. I'm about on to turn ten. Thirty two this week. So yeah, you hear me. Thirty two. So yeah, my nigga been frustrated, yeah. hot, and then you know been talking to some GMs and the coaches. And they not coaches, but more so the GMs, the scouts, and just telling me, you know, not that your boy ain't got the skills, but they just can't pay them bills. Yeah. Mm. They rather can take three, four young fellas that can they can put on a practice squad here. Yeah, that's usually what it come down yeah, to. So yeah, I mean that, that's that, I mean like money. It, is it is it is it like most of the time it is gonna be about that bread depending on yeah, where you are going. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, unless like, I mean I, I feel like though no, I feel like if if like somebody got the intangible somebody need them and then like they got the opportunity to make the push because right now everything kind of tight. I, but yeah, yeah I, you know I, I hear that. But I, I mean I, I'm um. Uh, I'm just saying, like, as far as the the league has moved away from, because um, the money's going up. They, they, they moved away from keeping. They moved players. away from keeping old players because it, it, it was they have to pay them more. Thousand, now it's a million plus. So it yeah, was, you right. feel me? It was eight seventy five. It was, it was, it was, it was easy to, to keep some. Okay, right. right. Back then, you know, and, the, and the younger guy was what two ninety five, three fifty, something like that. But it was like, eh. Hey, you know, we still keep the older guy. Whatever, right? yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah, now they, now they, now they but, and, 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 uh... Was that with a result of, like, inflation, like, with the country, or they were just, like, niggas was just... Just the league and players and... Yeah, just, like, negotiating on yeah. the, you know, CBA. Con- yeah, yeah, CBA, okay. yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's been gone, though. I'm not, I'm not times. hating on it. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Like, it's part know, of the game. Same how it go, yeah, yeah. Like, you, game. first of right. all, I feel like you always be, in the back of your head, be mentally prepared for that part of it, mm-hmm. NFL. So it's I it's yeah. hard to prepare for that, though. Yeah, it's hard to prepare for that. But I said, like, for me, it was hard to prepare just not being in foot in football. Not even just right. playing, but yeah, at first it was just playing, but now it's like, damn, I can't even just coach some shit just to pull up. Hey, <laughs> right. let me just go right. ahead and get the pad, bitch. I get the pad for <laughs> yeah, you niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it's just been one of those. But but not being in just being able to play the game of football for the first time in a long time, not being able to then be like, all right, well, I know I'm oh, shit, I'm gonna want coach and I can't be in any motherfucker, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. But then I can't, that's what I'm being trying to explain to 
people to believe that's what you just go do that. Like, nigga, I can't just go call them, like, hey, I'm pulling up to come. Man, what ain't like that? It don't, it don't, don't work like, like that. that. You know what I'm saying? They tell me, I go just go. And I don't care, like, what what level is on? Like, college, pro. Any job. Any job. High school. They high ain't school. Just bring it Nobody just ain't let people just come, just off, come off campus, basically, say, pull up. You can't just do that. Yeah, no, nah, you're so, definitely not doing yeah. that. So, yeah, mentally just been having to do my. Do my little due diligence with that. Take care of myself and just. So I mean, I gotta ask. I mean, like, I mean, what, 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 what is that? What, what, what does it look like? Like you saying, like you gotta just take care of yourself. I know, like you've been traveling, you've been kicking with the fans. Oh yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, like, what, what else? What have you been doing? Shit, get yeah, going back to where I knew people love me, bro. That's why I've been in Auburn four fucking times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah, you've been, you out, think, you've been nah, out. Yeah, there. you have been out there a lot. Yeah. Been out there. I ain't gonna even the. Uh, Man, the first game I took Kato to versus Arkansas. And he got to see Auburn at a, almost a low point. Because mm-hmm. that's right before we fired Brian Hart. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking about most of the time people just chattered about, oh, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, the play right. out there was piss poor. You know what I'm saying? All that. So he saw that first and that shit. I was like, damn, man. But then he was like, hey, I still want to go back, though. And I asked him. Because he had a basketball game the other day. He was hooping, too. Mm-hmm. First game, he was balling. I was like, hey, Auburn got their last home game, but you got basketball game this week. He was like, no, I want to go to Auburn. Okay. Hey, <laughs> let's, let's go. And then shout out to Rich McGlynn. <clears throat> I'm, I, I ain't even booked no hotel, but I hit him up. I was like, hey, y'all got any rooms at the Auburn Hotel? One of the prettiest hotels right there on oh, campus. Okay, got yeah. you. Take care of that. Feel me? Hello. You know what I'm saying? Then we get to the game. Of course, they going to... We didn't want to go through Tiger Walk. My boy, like, that's too many people, bro. <laughs> and the Arkansas game was it wasn't just nothing. That's what he saw when he went through yeah. Tiger, like nothing, bro. Then yeah. I showed him when they came to West Kentucky, that joint flooded. Yeah. He was like, oh like, no. no. I, ain't, I ain't with that. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 But introvert. So yeah, yeah. So we're going through that then showing our love. They over here. He's like, we got so many friends at Auburn. So everybody come up to him and say, hey, remember you feel Kato? Da, da, da. Yeah. We're going to the basketball game. They let me do the celebrity in, the little celebrity letter. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just getting all the love, bro. That's so going I, back, bro, like you going back, bro. The right, I told right. somebody, like, bro, going okay. back, bro, like, ain't gonna, that made me feel like, man, hey. If I can coach college football, I got to do only do it at Auburn, bro. Yeah, yeah you got to go back to school. Yeah. You got to go but, back to school. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way. The only way it'll I actually got to go back. Like, yeah. And, like, we might, well, that's the, that's the whole another segment for the whole Auburn season. But okay. that just captivates what, like, what they got going yeah. on right now, bro. Yeah. That's why motherfuckers love that bitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why you can now go back for a long time, then go back, and you see your goddamn teacher at the basketball game, and she give you big-ass hugs. You feel me? Like, that's... Yeah. You feel yeah, me? It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like love. that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, hey, saying, not bro. for nothing. I don't know how, how, how deep we can get into it, but, like, just the, the conversation we had during the break, when you were talking about, like, you know, folk coming back. Like... More people coming more back. More people coming oh, yes. back. More, Nick more Marshall, pros, right. more, more right. current, more right. vets. Everybody right. just coming Nick back. Nick Marshall was in that joint. You know what I'm saying? Jeff Whitaker. Like, me and Kato went to the little teen shop store, and he saw a picture. He thought he just saw the four. He just saw the number four on the jersey, and then somebody running the ball. He was like, oh, that's Tank. I was like, look, nah, bro. That's <laughs> Marshall, bro. Marshall. Nick yeah. Marshall. Nick Marshall. Yeah, yeah. Auburn fans, yeah, a lot yeah. of motherfuckers that's nah, sad. Yeah, no. Georgia fans know who the fuck Nick Marshall yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Alabama fans know who the fuck Nick Marshall is. <laughs> For sure. SEC know who the fuck. So, and that day, that Nick Marshall was there. This lit. And I was like, hey, you remember that picture you saw in there? And I was like, nah, that, that dude Cole, like he led the Auburn to a national championship game. And he there. And I was like, yeah. That's him. Like, that's what's up, though. You feel me? Like, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's what's up, bro. Yeah, I get to be on the field with my dog throwing the football and shit yeah. all the time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dana. Like I said, hey, they lace your boy up. Lace your boy up. That man clean, fam. You hear me? That's, that's, so, the, hey. that's the current jump, too. Oh, Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. This is one to show you off the bus when they get off the bus with you. <laughs> Straight to the game. So, yeah, man, just yeah. going back and getting that love, man. That just... It's lit, man. Yeah, nah, yeah, I, like I said, I, I'm I'm uh, glad that you definitely took that time, bro. Cause and like, heck, I mean, we we needed it too, you know, just like for the pod and everything, get back right and uh, mm-hmm. you know, take care of business stuff outside, with, which you know, what I'm saying, I, I, and people see we hot out here now. <laughs> hey, I don't know what the fuck been going on, bro. But hey, that's the other part of that break. I don't know what don't happened. Know what happened? <laughs> During my little time, I'm over here. You know, what I'm saying my feelings. I'm over here. Get text me his face, man. Hey, we got 10K following. Like, all right. All right. 
A day and a half later, hey, we got 20. All right, bro, what the fuck going on? <laughs> What's going on? on? <laughs> hey, Matt, talking about TikTok going off right now. Hold on, what? Bro, I'm getting bro, nervous. Bro. I said, shit, bro, I ain't say nothing stupid on that, you know? <laughs> Back sure, you know, we ain't looking too crazy on that. Hey, no, I took the cake with the crazy when they said when I did the dinosaur shit, though. They think I'm fucking stupid. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was... That was wild. Wild. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You too, bro. Look at them comments. Bro, folks was hitting me up. I'm talking about texting me now, not DM and texting me like, yo, like, bro, that clip went crazy. Folks sent it to me. Bro, that did a meal, bro. bro. That yeah, they people hear me and say, bro, we all for real. I said, man, we just pied, bro. Right, we just had a boy. We just had <laughs> Man, talking about dinosaurs, man. Bro, that stuff, bro. that one went crazy. The one with uh, Nav went nuts. Nav went crazy. That one went nuts, And then bro. everything else doing, shit, Wood got a half a meal on here. Talking about Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just... I don't know what it Big is. Numbers. The algorithm blessed us, bro. Right. Big what? The YouTube gods have said, hey, we'll make let you make a few dollars. <laughs> we're going to keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> For sure. Uh, <laughs> you know, shit. JC, shit, man, before we huh? get into it. What's what you been on, man? You been going to it. I've been grinding, bro. Mm. Trying to get to it. Same shit DB been on. Mm-hmm. You, you feel you. me? It's, it's, it's different out here when you unemployed. <laughs> In that no football cap. world, bro. Mm. Okay, you watching football all day. And it's a lot of it's a lot of opportunities out there, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, you know. I do take... ask like, do like you do watch more now or less? It's about to. Like, it depends on who it is. What it yeah, is. It, it ain't really. It, 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 it ain't. Right. It ain't just like we just turn off. But like, if, if it's like a game, like okay, I got I got to see that. See, I see feel like yeah. Like, if I, it, I ain't gonna lie, I never was like that though. Nah, right. You, yeah. Growing same, up, same. Yeah, I'd rather be out there playing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't it, just watch it. It'd be hard sometimes, like watching like this. This past year and in, in the year before, I guess these little primetime games, sometimes they be hit or miss, man. Like, nah, yeah. fuck that. You don't get real. Nigga, this was sad. Well, come on. Come on. It's been What's real. Bad. Yeah, as long as you get real. It's been bad. Hey, no cap, bro. My son, nine years old, he just been, just started getting into football, just started understanding players and this and that. Like, he, you know, he know about the NFL so much because I'm in the house, but he's skipping over high school, college shit, but he just always been thinking, you know, it, though. he's here this. Playing Madden, oh, this player, this ball, his name was the same 100 people that they show all the out, the same right. 100 people they only right. show. I see what Out of 2,000 players, they only show the same 100. So, I mean, they might talk about, like, the, uh, uh, oh, so and so jumped over and blocked the field goal, even though he know how they did that. Mm. But he don't know, like, I did it first. So it's like, <laughs> I got to hear him talk about, oh, no, Cam did it first because YouTube fucking short said, fuck. He don't know I did it first. He said the YouTube short said. <laughs> so, and then, uh, and then uh, he uh, oh, he want to watch all the game. He want to go to this game. He, you know what I'm saying? It just, my dog don't really get to see me out there doing I can tell him, oh, somebody forced the fumble. He, it was just something just, just so simple. Like, yeah. mm. but he makes it like, he didn't see me do it, so to him, like that shit was way amazing. Then, cause you, I, see I didn't see you do it. Uh, I didn't see what you said. Like, I know my dad told me he had like three hundred yards in the game. You wanna know what I said? Oh, okay. Man, oh God, I I'm finna go out here yeah. and get about five tubs. My damn self. So, yeah. Yeah. so I get it. <laughs> I mean, but like that's how it's supposed to be slick in the house. Slick. Not when your dad in the league. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I, I don't know because like I feel like we ain't I, got ain't, too, ain't no I, too many no bar balls out there. I feel you. I feel you. Thanks. That ain't. That I feel you. Ain't no, I feel you. Right. He ain't, ain't doing that. It's right. more Marvin Harrison's than LeVar Ball. I'm talking about Lamar, Marvin Harrison Jr., that nigga Cole. Ohio State. Okay, 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 okay. Right. I, I see what right. you're saying. As far as like, the level of like, doing it. Basketball. Uh, 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 well, who you just said? Dwan Wagner. Oh, okay. His son. Okay. His daddy. Mm-hmm. Him. Mm-hmm. His son. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Feel facts, me? Like, facts, mm-hmm. facts, I feel like facts. motherfuckers that have been in the game. That's why I tell Kato, like, bro, I'm on the, you be on the field, and I can tell you, hey, run the seven. And I go tell the quarterback, just throw it over there in that corner right there. Right. I was about to say, he get. I can tell him, I say, hey, run the whip. No, you got to run the whip. Get three yards from the hash. And he'll just be like, all right. And then, boom. Right. He go, defense. Right. I be like, hey, because you want to play the corner. I be like, no, you got to play the tight third. So right. you get up and run he, with get, him, he can you give let him on top. So all much right. more information like, than the regular. Like, and I be trying to tell him. Individual can. And even if it's a different position, because at that level, I mean, we in the top percentile. You got to know that type shit. I mean, I feel that, but I'm, I'm guessing the point I was making was I do understand when a kid, it, because the same day, right. it's your daddy. You see what I'm saying? You're going you gonna to feel like, yo, like, especially if like, he ain't, to your point, if like, he ain't see you yeah. do it. Yeah, 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 if he right. ain't see you do it, it's like, for instance, I don't think Bronny can do that to Bron. 
Fuck no. You see what I'm saying? That nigga he can't do it all to that game up. Facts. A- ex- as he exactly. Should. As he should. As he should. Right. He right. should be soaking right. up. But then you say somebody like, let's just say Dewan Wagner's son go crazy, right? Dewan Wagner. The one, with, the one with the Memphis, he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't go, go crazy. He did go crazy in high and school and high school. He got school, to Memphis. He was high, high school in college, he got hurt, but he though. didn't do it. He, got hurt. he, he did. He, he got did. Hurt. I'm not saying he didn't see you. He still won first round. He first pick, not first round, but first, he did one first round. First, first round, first round. round. He, he won first pick. He won, he won, he won top pick. He but first round. that's what I'm saying though. I feel like I feel like I can I can see a kid like I think of like like man. Think of it like this. Parents that didn't play fathers and mothers whatever sport they child doing. Yeah. You got to hire somebody to help Absolutely. Your kid. I agree with that. And yeah. like, your kid can definitely say, My bro, nigga, we you, can just go out whatever. in the back. Now, well, that's when I listen. That's what Kato do. He going to get that work. Because I made this nigga train with the 13-year-old, 14-year-old. Yeah. Like, we done had heart go to heart. He just started crying because I made it that keep doing it, keep doing it. And it's just some shit like simple. He, he, shit, he ain't never did before. Like, strike supposed to cry at least once, now. Yeah, he yeah. cried. Nah, nah. We yeah, had, but absolutely. we done had the heart to heart. He gave me a hug. I thought I explained it to him. Okay. Took him yeah. Like, we done did that. Yeah. We there. It's good shit there. Yeah, yeah. nigga, soul ties. Nigga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you feel yeah. me? So my dog gonna get right. It just, I, I just someone he be just talking about. Oh, I saw right. so and so. Yeah, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Nah. And then like, I feel it like you can just. I feel what you're saying. I feel like, what you're saying. And, right. I, and I can't like, explain to him right. the importance of special teams because guess what? Don't nobody fucking talk about Matthew Slater and all these cold ass special teams. Cold yeah. Davis and hey, shit. Hey, Slater was going crazy. Still going Boy, down. You're crazy. In year 16, Ooh. 17. You feel me? Like, wow. so. Hey, I'm just saying, man. Look. Now, you remember that time? What up? What I up? I told y'all about when I saw uh, when I met Marshawn Lynch at that hotel party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now, you bumped into him and everything? Now, imagine 10 year old Dan Bates pulling over my daddy's motherfucking Nissan State, my first NFL fucking game. And I see Keith Bullock, I was back in that same way I told you. <laughs> oh shit! This fucking daddy that Keith Bullock. Like, that's the 10 year old me, 2000, when this man came to the league. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, in the building, I mean, look, I got, I got, I feel like I'm about to fan out right now. They sweating and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand what we talking about right here. You hear me? Go ahead, go ahead, give him that. Uh, that, that First that of all, intro, man. When, when I started, I started listening to, to New York rap probably like, I got to Auburn. I don't know why. Like, it was like some old YouTube. Oh, YouTube. You're going through YouTube here in New York rap. And then I found out, and it's still in college, that man was from New York. And I just started just loving New York. I started listening yeah. to Joe Budden, Fat Show. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. these boys, the locks, nigga, all these folks. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this is a New York nigga. Even, oh, that's me. I don't know. That's just crazy. But then he came down to the South. That's something I got to ask you. That's crazy, too. You come down to the South. The South, that's Nashville of 2000. Yeah, Nashville of 2000. Yeah. Boy, different. y'all, whatever y'all hear about mm-hmm. Nashville right it now, get different. it out your fucking head. <laughs> that ain't it. Yeah, it, wasn't it wasn't Nashville that 2022, wasn't baby. That was Nashville 2000. Yeah, East, North, I'm talking about yeah. Pro Bowl in 2003. I'm talking about a whole legend in, in, in the city of Nashville. Whole legend in Syracuse. First uh, first round pick. You know what I'm saying? Coming out of uh, what, Suffering, New York. This is the, um, Rockland County. You know, we represent oh, y'all, y'all situation. different up there. The yeah. way y'all call I thought I was y'all a foster kid, so I bounced y'all all everywhere. Over. Right, yeah, y'all I'm everywhere saying, up there. So, but yeah, know. welcome on, welcome to the Raw Room, man. Keep bullet. Yeah, yeah, appreciate sir. you coming on. Appreciate you. you. Know. It was coffee snacks. Uh, we got some popcorn. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got some action. Right he got all the wild shit. Something over there. Let's see what you're working with. <laughs> he, nah. he got a little bit of everything in there. Now, I want to go and get straight to it, because this is something I was thinking about, like I like I said, for a little minute. You went to school in New York at Syracuse, and you come down to Nashville. Now, how much have you been to in the South? Um, my family's from the South, so um, I used to spend, um, matter of fact, I just came from um, north of Virginia, Virginia Beach, so that's where my, um, my mom and my, my, my mom, my grandma, and my aunt, they moved out there when I was about 12, when I was about 12 years old. But from, like, four to about six, um, you know, my family's from Wilson, North Carolina. You know, okay. I lived in North Carolina. But yeah, I was born in New York. Like I said, I bounced, bounced around. around. You, sure. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, um, you know, wherever my, you know how it is. You live with grandma for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Down, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You life. ain't been through yeah. shit in life if you ain't ever lived with your grandma, bro. <laughs> right. Oh, God, bro. Right. You ain't right. never been yeah. through yeah. shit. Yeah, right. You ain't right. never had to live with your grandma. I'm talking about all y'all living with your grandma. And I'm talking about the whole family. That's what I'm saying. All the dog and all. Yeah. Everybody got to come over here. You ain't talking about shit. I feel like everybody got that story. Oh, yeah, for sure. Everybody, if you come up in that... 
<laughs> so where you play your high school football at? Uh, uh, Clarkstown North, man. It's um. So I grew up in Rye, I say Rockland County. It's what was the name? Clark, yeah, Clarkstown North, an area called New City. Um, it's about thirty minutes outside New York City. Oh, okay, okay. So that's it's like so, a yeah. suburb outside yeah. New York City, not a borough. Still thorough. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Still thorough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, it was it was cool, man. Um, it's funny because like my my high school, they ain't never win shit until like my you know junior senior <laughs> year. Me and my crew came through. Yeah, we lost to uh, we the only game we lost junior year was to the eventual state champs North mm-hmm. Rockland. Got to give them their props. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Yeah, other than that, man, I went to Syracuse because I actually went and visited UVA. I was recruited by um, Michigan. I always wanted to go to Michigan, mm. but then they wanted me to play linebacker, and they was recruiting me a linebacker. I was a safety and running back, yeah. like safety skills, safety yeah. running back, wide receiver. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, I was I was I wasn't trying to play linebacker. I was one ninety coming out of high Nigga, school. Who you think? You know I'm with you. Like, <laughs> I never want to get in that box. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, so uh-huh. yeah, and then um, yeah, I took my visit. I took a visit to UVA. <clears throat> I didn't take one to Michigan. Yeah, I, no, Syracuse. I just figured, you know, it's about three and a half hours from the crib. My people can drive up. Yeah. It's far enough away from home that I'm mm-hmm. way. And then um, when I went on my recruiting trip, I think that's the most important thing for kids, man. That recruiting trip. You know what yep. I'm saying? The cats that. You know, I ended up kicking it with was the cats that I met. Like McNabb yeah, was a, a yeah, true yeah. freshman. Okay. A couple of my other homeboys was true freshmen. And uh, like I met them on my recruiting trip. And then um shit, like when I got to school, that's who I was, you know, rocking with anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was cool. Yeah. It worked out. That's nice. How were y'all? Syracuse ain't never known for some good football. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't gonna hold you. But nah, we was straight, man. Like uh we went to uh we went to the Orange Bowl, Fiesta Bowl. Okay. We went to a bowl every year I was there. We won, you know, the Big East at the time. We won that three years in a row. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We had Miami was in there. Um, uh, Virginia Tech, you know. Oh, yeah, y'all was straight, man. Mm-hmm. Boston College. Boston yeah. Boston mm-hmm. College. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else Where's was in there? Yeah, yeah, the original like, Big East. Like, Pitt. Was yeah, there, we were right? smacking them. We were smacking them. You guys. would say that was, that was that Big East was put together for basketball. Right? Absolutely, yeah. that was a was Big East. Nah, for sure, oh, for sure. Absolutely. But that's um that's the same Big East that all them um UM uh, teams that had like um you know the Porters and the Sean oh, Taylor. Mad? Nah, University of Miami. Oh my! Oh, that, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh they yeah, yeah. The, they were putting yeah. That's true. Like that's the true. 2000, 2001. Yeah, yeah. Them Shockey them. and all them boys. Yeah. They was young. When um they was like probably like freshman and sophomore was when um but Miami when, um, was already was on that football at that point in time. Yeah, but you know, they had a time when they uh, had a little down period. Oh, for sure. Right after Ray Lewis and them, yeah. I think they got on probation and we jumped yeah, on top of them. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Smack them around and then yeah. they got their get back. <laughs> yeah. I say they got their get back. Huh. Okay. Uh-huh. But how was so your you saying your recruit process, you you knew what you were gonna do by going to Syracuse as far as uh what they were offering. Now, when you got there, you were playing safety? Yeah, I was playing safety. Um, well, they had uh, Donovan Darius. Uh, he ended up going to um, his first round pick from Jacksonville. He was um, a safety there. So I didn't start. I redshirted, mm-hmm. which was good for me because when I got there, yeah. you know, um, man, I look. I had some moments. I had a moment I wanted to go home. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I called yeah. my brother like, yo. <laughs> Yeah, like six in the morning. You know, you gotta yeah. go eat before. Yeah. I stopped at that payphone. Cry. I'm like, look, man. Mm-hmm. He's like, what you gonna do? He's like, you ain't you ain't coming back here. He's like, I just seen this person doing this, this person, and Dang. pretty much nobody's home doing nothing. You yeah. gonna come back home to do, do, do what? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I just. Well, yeah, most people. Yeah. 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 Hey. Got most back up in there and got everything to. was all right. Yeah. You know, I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Hey. But, you know, everybody had that moment, man. You uh-huh. got to. Yeah. What's your most memorable moment then playing at football at Syracuse? Um, <clears throat> I would say, man, um, like like a game or just like... Just the, game wise, game-wise, game-wise. So I would say, like... <laughs> Game, maybe, I got, I would say two, you know what I'm saying? Um, my my redshirt freshman year when I was playing safety, 
I had a um I had a pick and cover three, you know, so I'm the strong safety and mm -hmm. I got that buzz to yeah, the flat. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you, you always you gotta see yourself doing it before Make it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sir. Right. Yep. And then like as a friend, you know, I you know, I had that pick for a touchdown. I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So I was like really getting excited, you know, because now I was splitting time with a um fifth year senior. Uh -huh. Um, you know, and then um you know, I was Going into my sophomore year, I was going into the spring. I'm about to start at strong safety. Wrong. Damn. Move your ass to linebacker. Oh, <laughs> Damn. that's the same way they did me. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. They was all about getting. So my coach, man, uh, Paul Pasqualoni, shout out to Coach P. He just got fired. <laughs> Damn. He's the D-line coach, I think, for the... Well, he been in it for a minute, man. Yeah. Yo, he's still yeah. coaching us crazy. Wow. You anyway. gotta be like seven or something. <laughs> yeah, you, you feel me? <laughs> Are you still in it? Um, but yeah, so I, f I forgot what I was talking about. It don't matter. But yeah. You talking about getting switched up from uh Oh from yeah. Like so when to, I moved to uh, um uh safety to linebacker, it was kind of like, man, but at that point I just wanted to get on the field. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was gonna move Facts. me to running back at one point. Hey. He's gonna move me to wide receiver. You know how it is in yeah. college. Yeah. Like, I was a, I, there, yeah. I got recruited as a uh, safety, but I was an athlete. athlete. See like, what he you know good what I mean? at. Everything but quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Now, how much you weighed when you went down the linebacker? Two twelve. Two twelve. Talking about ninety, so you put on about. Yeah, I put on about, I, I went to school at 198. I was one, probably like 198, 195 yeah. when I got to college. Like high school, like my senior year, I was probably like 190. But when I got there, I was probably like 198. Because, you know, you try and get them last yeah. little workouts yeah. in before yeah. you go to school. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, nah. Um, and then when I moved to linebacker, I was 212. And it was, it was a learning process. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I started, but then... Then I did. I always started, but then shit, I had to they switch. You, you know how they yeah. like, you know, they split time. Now my man, yeah. my man was a junior and we split time. Mm -hmm. Cause like I had beat him out, but like so obviously while, I wasn't, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So yeah. still doing wilding out on campus, doing dumb mm -hmm. stuff, oh, shit damn. like that. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Football Similar wasn't stories. like that'll Similar get you. Story. Yeah, football yeah. wasn't, yeah. I ain't understand yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, For like, sure. like, like the actual business side of it. You yeah. saying, I, the opportunity that I had mm -hmm. and that, okay. like, look, man, they'll send your ass home. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now yeah, it's one thing sure. to want to go home on your own, but then now you cool, you rocking, but you like yeah, yeah. ain't focused on, you know, 100% academic. Point. Yeah, I guess it is the business side. Yeah. You know what I mean? And at I, I, I just 19, like, 20, you ain't thinking about it like that. Ooh, yeah. I, I, just, I just remember like, we we actually had a uh, discussion about that, about like these younger athletes now. I feel like, you know, they getting the business type, just mindset of it, I guess. Not like yeah. that, actually like, you know what I'm saying, dollars and cents, but like, hey, look, you know, if you want to make this a career, this got to be like your, your job. You yeah, know, I mean, well. I feel like it's is. always been like that. Yeah, but for That's, these kids now, they actually really getting the bag. Like, they right. are a business. They, they actually, are a yes, brand. That's you know true. what I'm saying? So from that, us that from... Back when they wasn't paying those niggas, right? right. So it was real so hard I didn't even get that. Yeah, I wasn't exactly. even getting that talk. They don't you know what I'm saying? Like, like, well, I was playing. Like, I was in college ninety five to ninety nine. I was in the two thousand draft. So let's yeah. put it. In, yeah. I put it in perspective. Right. You know so what I'm saying? Really so now, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? So these kids now, that's dope because it's like you could be somebody like you know, let's like Josh Hypo. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The, yeah, the coach for UT. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He won the um he won a national championship when he was in college, but he didn't never make it. And you know, there's other um college stars. They get mm -hmm. the opportunity to benefit and reap the benefits of being a college star mm -hmm. without having to put the school on probation right. yep. or being looked at like as a as a bad kid for just trying to get a little bit of bread and benefit off the of your talents. The schools do, have been mm -hmm. doing it for Real for yeah, me. Since the beginning. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit, how you think I got this town tat right here? <laughs> yeah, I, got my, I got my first tag at, um, in Jacksonville at the arms at the Gator Bowl uh, with my per diem money. I'm signatures, jerseys, to get tattoos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was the uh, the uh, the bowl gifts like back then? 
Oh, yeah, oh man, he get like oh, a, a jacket, you wow. know, like a, a jacket, a watch, a, a bag. It was all pretty nice, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Like yeah. get a jacket or like a garment bag, like some toiletry, some stuff you gonna use as a young man. Like some when you get out of college, oh, oh, so yeah. they don't, that's the shit. They stopped doing that. At well, they, yeah, yeah, oh, that's you, man, that. this shit's stupid. You yeah. get a whole uh, uh, alarm uh, clock that's a really a, a picture frame. It's like oh, yeah, uh, yeah. we would get shit that's like <laughs> like almost like Letterman shit. You know. I'm saying oh, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, in yeah. a little section, but nah. When nah, you get yeah. out, like you go, oh, I got my, you know, you yeah. got your Auburn duffel, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? They had one bag, like they got a clown over there, huh? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh, like the acts from like the different Yeah, nah, areas, yeah, like, yeah, nah, that's what definitely what you was getting. You was getting some Letterman type shit, some like goddamn Isotona gloves. Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> I got a question. I usually start this whole whole podcast off with a question. Uh, yeah. Yo, let me make sure I'm going to notes. Ain't nothing crazy. Nah, ain't nothing crazy. <laughs> but you ever just been, you know, minding your own damn business? Somebody hits you up, maybe have a conversation with you. Maybe they don't even have a conversation with you. They just come straight out to it and they just ask you, hey, can you do me a favor? Of course. Now, immediately me come to mind. All, all the time. Me, immediately, I always think, all right, what the fuck, money? How much you feel asked for? Of course. So now I get to the point like, <laughs> so I, cool. I, I've got to the point where I, look, <laughs> I think people starting to learn me. They try to have conversations. Hey, what you doing? I'm chilling. Oh, that's what's up. You seen Black Panther? Yeah, what the fuck you, yeah. <laughs> what's up, man? What's what up, you need, bro? You what's up, man? Hey, can you do me a favor? I didn't ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm just through texting you now. Yeah, right. I'm out of favors. Right. I'm oh, so far gone with them hoes. Actually, I did one. I did one. I'm lying. I just did one. Um <laughs> to, I sent my cousin a hundred dollars. <laughs> I sent my cousin a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't like, but see, I ain't but what happened you. to the days that somebody sends you a hundred dollars? You like, I sent you. What you tell me? What your problem yeah. is? What you yeah, need? What you on? really need? Yeah. How much is? It? Oh, hundred. I got you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I right. feel like I, you, you know said, he wanted might have wanted more, but that's what I sent him. Right. I mean, but I feel like those we done had them so many times. Hey, let me give me. Can you give me a favor? It's mostly about some money. They yeah, really yeah, like, hey, you doing me a favor? Can you call up here and help me get a job? It ain't that. Nah. I get on there and pretend my ass oh, off. Oh, my mama. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, yeah, I do that with you. <laughs> but are oh, you talking about, oh, man. Man, see, like. I'm yeah. not doing that. See, like, I've had a coach ask me, um, a former coach Damn. asked me to put in a word for them. Coaches asked me to put in a word for them, like, when I was playing. I ain't gonna lie, but I, can't, I couldn't do that. Like, as I didn't. A coach. I no, didn't. I like, as a coach, like, no. I can't be asking the hell. No. I didn't. Did you put a Damn. Word in from the bro. It wasn't nothing Crazy. personal. It's just like that's a it's, weird. That's, ass. Weird. that's right. what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's even weird. I, I, I didn't have really players is. ask, yeah. "Hey, bro, you can tell the, the coach, the special team coach, the that, that is the fuck that I look part. like." That you weird, my dog, bro. Bro. God, that don't no. work like that. Bro. Don't hell no. Don't work like that. You really don't, bro. Like you, you read about but something that we like you about the money part, fool, because. I don't know about y'all. I feel like the hustles and the scammers is like at all time high, even more so than what it was. I'm gonna give you an example. I'm in Kroger the other day. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm in Kroger. It's Sunday, matter of fact. It's yesterday. It's yesterday. I'm in Kroger. Scammers working One Sunday in Franklin. Too. Yeah. Uh, Brentwood, right? I know what you're talking about. One line open. One line open, this motherfucker, bro. Mm. Now, kids outside, though, selling candy bar. In my head, I'm like, bro, obviously Kroger needs some help. The kids out here selling the candy bars. But they sell the candy. That's what I'm saying. So, like, you know, it wasn't that I didn't mm. feel horrible about it. I was like, man, like, I was just in this I line for an hour, yo. Yeah. What they got to do I don't mind scammers. breaking bread. Huh? Hold them. Get your ass scammers. in there and get a job. Easy. The nigga will look at you like you're crazy. It's just what I'm saying. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be more money than this. It's gonna be more money than this. This this this. For that hour they stood out there. They they paying like what, it's crazy $14 now. Man. Hour and That's shit, true. Man. It's getting wild. You like folks asking the same thing like you know asking for a book book for the like, God dang bro like in the, in this retail world back in the day at least when I was in school I remember we yeah. was in school because yeah. the grocery store was uh, how else you was gonna get money. That's the only yeah, way. Right. My brother you know? first job was at the grocery store. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 You see the grocery store or Restaurant, real life, and shouting. That was a minute. That's one of this nigga, nah. you know, Tommy, Martin, how 
I was you suspicious about him not having a job. This nigga that had a job. You know, oh, you yeah. know what he Tommy do. He was collecting, he was collecting <laughs> like Tommy real uh, retirement at 18, bro. Bro, what you mean? Nigga worked for the post office. I thought, <laughs> uh, hey, we come out of high school, he come out of high school, but I thought this man gave up on life and I saw he worked at the post office. I was like, damn. You just ain't giving a fuck. They trying to get some bread. I gotta get some bread. He was like, damn, this motherfucker got the real job. I was like, this man here just said fuck life. He's like, oh, you working, working, my boy. I, 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 out here, he bro. didn't transition, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got bit of it. Calvin got a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, now did you play basketball growing up? Yeah, oh, right, I played go. basketball um, all the way up through high school. Same, just like me. Now this is one of my other questions. Now, what is the most annoying thing in pickup basketball? Mm. <clears throat> I, list, um, I, I would say now. Yes. Um. Yeah, like as an adult, I would say motherfuckers playing like they're trying to go to the league. <laughs> Cause we just, we just, we hooping. Ain't nobody here going nowhere. Going nowhere. Like, home, like, like <laughs> unless I get, unless I make that decision to get on that type of court. Right. But yeah, like that, type, that yeah. one, like look, bro, like with the like, and that's fine. Play your game, but the hard fouling and all that <laughs> nah, yeah, shit, nah, like, like, that. like, come on, bro. You, you doing? Said, you got to earn it. <laughs> now nah, that's it. cool. I'm gonna just get. I'm football player. I'm gonna get I, physical. That's what I, mean. <laughs> I mean. Hey, that's what I'm <laughs> doing today, I'm, get, bro. I'm just right. trying to play real basketball, right. but now you're gonna make me get physical. We don't want to. You're do not that. gonna like it. We don't want. You're gonna be that. mad. Then he's gonna want to fight, and then we ain't. Then it's dumb. So nah, I just like unnecessary arguing. And, yeah, and, and, and like, and like it's to their point. It's like yo, like ain't no reason must be arguing over this car, yo. Like if you want the ball, then bad you can have it. I don't care. Like, like, like if you that good, then that's cool. Like if you boom, but if you look like an asshole with it, and you, <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> get out like, of come here. Come on, dog. Get it. Slap the floor. With these then I'm gonna stand now. We gonna all start playing serious. So yeah, I could hoop. Yeah. But like I'm not trying to, <laughs> no, I'm not trying to, yeah. right. not no more. Is you be I'm a saying. lifetime hooper? Nah, I don't. You know what? I ain't gonna hold you. I'm. I don't. I retired from hooping about five right. years ago. Damn, put him up in the rafters. I, I don't I want. To, nah, I just don't want. I don't want to. Um, got, I don't want to have one of them Broly strollies. Like when you got your leg up, when you pop your yeah. Achilles. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. yo. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Bro, like I ain't stretching. Right there, right there. I ain't yeah. as nimble as I used to be. I don't want that Broly strolly. I ain't trying to pop my. I don't want nobody rehab. Ooh, and then it's gonna be longer now. You know, old right? Bro, see, 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 this was I shoot. I could still dunk, but oh, you that's about it. Well, stay out that court there. And while we on, we're gonna get straight to sports. Cordell Patterson came in my class. The king of kickoff return. He's still the king. <laughs> he the king. Got nine kickoff return touchdowns. The most he passed. He was tied with Josh Chris. Passed Josh Chris yesterday against uh, Chicago. The one before that he even fumbled. Or actually, that was Avery that fumbled. But he no, got in. Him. He fumbled it. He did fumble. Yeah, he did fumble. He yeah. fumbled Slide. it just before. Slide. Next one. Listen now. I done played against CP most of the time. Like I said, we came to the league together, so we seen each other plenty of times. He always been a kickoff return. The motherfucker big and strong. He run hard. Yeah, he's bigger than I thought. Yeah. yeah he's like 6'5". Yeah. He's listed 6'4". That yeah, motherfucker tall. And yeah. he gonna run hard. I liked him at Always UT. Always run Being hard. Here, I like that. That's what I'm saying, UT. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, but hard. to see UT, you yeah. know, living here. So, but yeah, I liked him and That's what I first seen when he was at UT, snapping too. But yeah, I, mean, I just wanted to congratulate to him. You know what I'm saying? King of the kickoff turn. Doing major shit for all the special team guys. Even hell, when we, uh, when I played for the Falcons, I might be like, damn, I'm glad I get to play with your ass because I look at him like I already a legend anyway. So I was like, hell yeah, they can right, probably right, get right. be on the table. You, block, you wanna block, well, uh, you wanna block for somebody it, like that. Hey, Anytime oh, yeah, you got somebody me. that you know that you, can take it to the crib, you're gonna make sure you make your block, bro. Yeah, absolutely. And that's somebody like, yeah, by that time he already tied with with crib, you know, with eight. So I was looking at it like I'm blocking for a Devin Hester type nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like that's who, sure. to me, hey. that's for my hey. class, that's my that's Bl- Devin Hester. Bl- blocking for Hester? That's it. That was different. Now. That shit was different though. Different. And then the power turn is a whole different yeah. ball game. That's hey, definitely about speaking angles. Of power speaking of power turn, turn what? Huh? Oh. No, wait. <laughs> Last night. So I yes, said, bro. so we oh. were talking about something. Hold on. We were talking about something yeah, that about. Game was, oh that shit was disgusting. Know. That was the worst. <laughs> worst, <laughs> worst football game. What's that? The, the, the Patriots Jets. Yeah. The Patriots Jets. Oh, it was horrible. That shit was so horrible. And then I'm over here. I'm over here had a, a flashback in my head of Corey Davis. What are you talking about? I was saying, who your favorite quarterback? Oh, yeah, 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 hey. yeah. 
Okay. Zach Wilson. I'm staying with my dog. <laughs> his quarterback now is his favorite quarterback. Hey. Oh man, he's just saying that. <laughs> hey. Hey. hey, he gotta be. He gotta be. <laughs> he's just saying that. Hey. Oh, bro. the game was, bruh. Uh, come on now. I would have called. The, I would have called this punt back. Bro, I would have threw the flag. Like so the rest was just fuck. trying to get up out of there. I, I, I would have yeah, yeah, threw that same that bullshit. Oh, I'm big, bro. I'm a big block. Who is it? Who number he, didn't, he didn't even have to block him. Right. Number 30. Whoever really number 30 was. He didn't have to block him at all. Really at all. Oh. Everybody sneak ran into him. Mm. Put him straight, ah. straight in the numbers. Come on now, bro. He I wasn't going to catch him. I would have called that back. No, they got they had to call it, but they was trying to get up out of there. I would, too. I'm in I'm in Foxborough. I'm watching... Mac Jones and oh my god, it was so bad. <laughs> it, was bad. Was it was so bad. But he was terrible. throwing the ball to literally no. He wasn't even. He wasn't even throwing picks. He was. Well, he did almost do a couple of them. Like he could have. Somebody was just throwing that hole with the green grass. Oh just green grass, grass bro. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> he just, he just who, bad. who was the quarterback that said he was saying ghosts that one time? What that? Sam uh, Darnold saying ghosts. Sam Donald. That's what he. Uh, oh, that's what he <laughs> right. no. Hey, that's that's what we try to make you see on defense. Oh God, bro, we send the motherfuckers at your Flex. ass. We're like he was right there, but now he's he over there. <laughs> I thought he was crumbling, but now he in coverage. That's, mm-hmm. pick, that's what uh, defensively. That's what you want to make him see ghosts. Oh, it was bad, bro. Yeah. Oh, what the that type of just ain't see shit. Y'all was in four three. Yeah, we ran four three. See, that's old class. I feel like don't nobody run four three no more. Nah, it's crazy. They don't mm-hmm. run three four. Yep, so eight, three, four, some futuristic shit. But look, today I came in here with my Auburn shit on, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. The season started off looking like it was about to be this, the second worst uh, season in program history, 2012. Unfortunately, my senior year was the <laughs> fucking worst. That's your boy Cadillac in there. Caddy, hey, listen, they got rid of hard like them? Got Harsh's dumb ass up out of here. Get your get your dumb ass out of here, bro. You don't, you don't have to do this shit. Put Cadillac, which I thought when they did that, I thought it was great already just because for Auburn fans. Right. I don't mm-hmm. even think about the players. I don't think about they were Right, fans. at least it's something to they end gonna, the season great on. Yes, a familiar right. face, a legend coming Absolutely. in there and whatever happens, it happens. Now, I don't I don't know Cadillac as a coach as far as, you know what I'm saying, his energy on the coach as a coach because he was a running back coach. You know what I'm saying? He, he was... Wasn't always out there on the forefront. You don't see him in the practice. Like they, you don't get to see that out of him. Man, when I saw him come with that energy against Mississippi State, yeah, I'm like, hold the fuck up. This whole team look different. Yeah, these folks out here actually trying to ball. Like they actually playing now. Mm-hmm. So when he came back to play Texas A and M, man, listen, bro, you would have thought we was eleven and zero, and Texas A and M was eleven and zero. They had that bitch rocking, sold out. I was talking about sold out like Iron Bowl. Like, you know what Iron State Cadillac. Exactly. People, they yeah. It was just off of Cadillac, bringing them for people back. Won the game. They both three and six now. This team got a little energy. They yeah. turned it lights might go, off. We bro. might go see what's up. Well, yeah, I mean, like, that made stuff like, after the game, bro. You, they stormed the field. Like, that's wrong, bro. It was like, damn. Stuff like that. Awesome, like, when you bring legends like that back... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Especially um, if he's been already here, part mm-hmm. of the coaching he staff. Like, and he from, he from the state. Yeah, he from and, Alabama. And those kids right. probably, are, you know you mess with the position coaches. Yeah. Especially yeah. former players like him. Absolutely. He had a great NFL career as yep. well. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that's actually been there and done it. Yep. They're like, all right, coach, let's rock. You know yep. what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's good, great for your alma mater, great for Cadillac, and, you know, I hope to see how it works out. You think he going to... I, don't, don't hire I, him? I was just about to say, I don't, I don't, I, I, yeah, I think it'd be cool that they Probably hired not. him as a head. I think it'd you be don't cool. think he could uh, hold it for the longevity? Yeah, I don't know what that's looking like, but I also think that they should not get, ever get rid of him. He should be able to stay here forever. Yeah. And some of them coaches that Zach Ethers, I feel like he should never go nowhere. He a legend in Auburn himself. You know what I'm saying? He played safety. He was my, my freshman year, he was the nigga I played, he was the vet I played the next to. Right. He was a junior my freshman year, so he's talking to me a lot of shit. And I know he's doing out there doing the same thing with them boys. And he know the culture, he know how to recruit, he know all that shit. So, hey, I think it's some aspects of that that coaching staff, or at least at least uh, Cadillac need to stay there for sure, because he turned that like that little season. But you would never think we was whatever they are, five and six, five and six. You would never hell, bro. Not the way they started off. That Arkansas game, them folks was in that bitch about to go out, to, out of the stands and beat horse and ass right there in the middle. I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> and I was with that. We were going to just chat War Eagle and we were just whooping his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga going to learn, motherfucker, about Auburn. That's it. <laughs> we, had, we, we, like, we started out like that. 
Getting yeah, a little, y'all, getting y'all, a little hot, y'all getting a little hot towards getting the end of the season. Now. SEC um, championship coming there. I thought Brian Kelly was just going to shit down his leg. Now, nah, yeah, hey, 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 at first I was just like, all right, we're going we gonna to see what we're going to do just because we still LSU. We got the players. I mean, he he can't ruin the whole program. You know what I'm saying? He, But he he definitely he definitely doing his thing right now. Uh, Jaden Daniels, he, he's been going crazy. To my little skinny dude. I might as hell. He been going, bro, he's so elusive. He got to be. He's so elusive. 177. <laughs> you better be on the Yeah, that man, not, not, he not no 177. Stop right, 187, all right? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, at, at the beginning of the year, I was scared when he was back there running around. He was just back there chill, bro. He too cool. But he out there, he out too there doing cool, shit, because you fucked up. Hey. Quick. <laughs> Real fast. <laughs> well, we all thought Tennessee was about to be at the top of the chart this year. Well, they were. They was doing their thing, man. They I really, did I really thing. thought they were going to... And like, then Hooker out for the year now. Oh yeah, that's Terrible. unfortunate. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Feel my, I was like him this whole year. They was having a great year, man. But yeah, they were having a great year until they ran up on the Georgia Bulldogs. I feel like that's, that's what fact. started it all. Well, I feel like to be real, like you know, I I, I like their shot against Alabama. I like when they was going into the Alabama yeah. game. I liked their chances, but I knew it, I, I really had them winning. Um, but I knew Georgia was going to be a different beast. Like, I oh, always, yeah, you know, I was like, because I even said it. I was like, nah, and it, y'all, got Alabama, y'all got Alabama, but Georgia? I'm going to stay out of that one. That, you know yeah, what I'm saying? They out there throwing real haymakers out there in Georgia. Yeah, they I like Georgia's really little quarterback, man. <laughs> that motherfucker been there for like five years, man. Been there for a little minute. That man. might been there for Jeez. a minute. I feel like every quarterback, is, every quarterback they had since staff would be there for like six years, bro. Like, bro, you, yeah, you should be a Heisman hopeful, motherfucker. You'd have had <laughs> seven years of practice, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck. But now, nah, Georgia be rolling. They got a squad. I mean, I've been, they've been like that ever since Kirby for sure got there. He just took defense. over, turned it around. Defense. What do you think about Alabama, like, well, uh, Sir Urban, uh, Mark, Damn, Nick Saban? Son. I'm about to say, I already called Mark right. Stoops. Yeah, I'm about to say, right. Mark Stoops. Mm-hmm. I ain't no play for him. I ain't no play against that nigga. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what do you think about Nick Saban and Alabama? Because you know how they get up there. Everybody got two losses. They really feel like they they over. They lost. Oh no. Um, I mean, I feel like the it start. You seeing a new, in the, like a changing in the guard in the sense that the playing field is easier with um, getting more le- is leveling out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, every you can go anywhere and get a bag. You can go. You know, like for nice. real, like legally, like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Um, you know, with the transfer portal as well. You know, I don't. The only thing I don't like, I like the transfer portal, uh, for the reason <laughs> that like if cats have still have eligibility, you can go and play at another school or you know what I'm saying. I don't like it when these kids um Pick them are just playing, getting right, out shit. because they ain't playing. They yeah, can't right. stand up to the competition. Bro, okay, yeah. you might not start your yeah. freshman year, but come back your sophomore year. Okay, now you're getting a little bit of time and now your yeah. junior year, you that yeah, dude. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah. some now you're not always just gonna walk on campus like Bates nah. and start. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Facts. That's In not the case. Yeah. Yeah, I got so, I got so lucky. I think that's what's happening. Like, um, as far across the landscape, you say Alabama got two losses. I think also the mentality of their um player now is getting a little watered down when yes, it sir. comes to the discipline sure. that they don't show. For you know, sure. with the penalties and all these different things. You know what I'm saying? Especially, uh, you know, they're not a team that normally beats themselves or puts them in a position where they may beat they themselves. May so I just think that uh. You know, Saban has to retool his uh, staff and maybe get some the players. You know, he be but like on these, the sideline. yeah, these kids, um, these kids, like is go, right? And some of these kids that's coming up now, they like, man, I don't gotta go there. I can yeah. go to SC. Look yeah. dope. We play over here. They yeah. play in the Big Ten now. Like, mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, I feel like a lot of these schools are getting more visibility. Um, and that would be a reason for a USC to be in the Big Ten because, to tell you the truth, like growing up on the East Coast in, in New York, like all we saw was like Big Ten football. You would hear of UCLA and stuff of Texas and, you know, Oregon and all those Pac-10 schools at, at the time or, or Big 12 schools at the time, but you ain't really, that's not, I, yeah. I won't trying to go there. Like, you know yeah, what I'm right. saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's nothing against them or not. I just don't know. I don't be seeing them like not that. Yet. You know what I mean? But now even with Texas coming into the SEC, a kid that lives right here in Nashville, Tennessee, might 
she texts us more or I whatever like, and be like, dude, that shit would like, if I'm you know what I mean? like the way my just to see it more. Yeah, I like right. shit, Texas shit. I mean, I know they ain't been cold in the last 15 years. Right, like, but then you, you get a trip to go out there because, uh, yeah. you know, messing with Vince Young and, like, mm-hmm. both gave my dogs, Mike Griff, that went to Texas, you know what I'm saying, on that I played with in the league. I've been out there, you mm-hmm. know, many times. Yeah. And that's, yeah, shoot. That's 18-year-old me, well, not going, knowing nothing yeah. about it, being you out there. You gonna see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like that. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. that out mm-hmm. there. It's going crazy. Uh, who you got? Y'all, LSU Tiger. I don't know. Georgia Bulldog. I'm saying be real, though. Georgia. <laughs> he said be real. So basically, he wants you to what say... Is, what is he talking about? <laughs> what is he talking about? Basically, what you say, be real, man. Why would he LSU. say that? Why would he say that? Why would he say that? Why, and why would he expect me to pick something else? I don't I'm know. Expect, that's crazy. I'm expect you to tell the truth. That's crazy. <laughs> so do, do, do you go into the you, Iron Bowl? You, 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 you try to don't pick with your heart. Do you go into the <laughs> Iron Bowl be <laughs> like, yeah, we about to, we lay, about to lose lay, to Alabama. Lay out, lay out what y'all need to do to get the dub. There you go. I, I know what we can do to be Alabama. We there. We got to stop them on offense. And, and we got to create plays <laughs> on, said, on Basically, it. you said they can either run it or pass it. <laughs> they got to stop no. them on offense. No, no. we got to stop their offense. <laughs> we got to stop their offense and we got to get some big plays. That's real. That, that, that's, that's how we who y'all, win. Who y'all got to eliminate on their the, team? The quarterback. And the running back. And the two tight ends. Yeah. I think your quarterback <laughs> got to play good, man. That, that's what I'm saying. Our your quarterback, quarterback always, always, play good. always has to play good. But like, if we could take the, if we could take if Bennett your quarterback out of the game, game. But if your quarterback can match what Bennett's doing, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Then it's, uh, the same way we beat Alabama. If we could take that quarterback hey, out of the game. Georgia always. We can, we tell can, me we online can right now, Faye. Georgia always got a cold, tall, white receiver. Always. <laughs> it's never failed since yeah. like 2004, bro. But you usually, it's a receiver slash them. tight end. But he yeah. always gonna get them nine rounds, them deep ball, them hey. motherfuckers gonna mount no, your hey, five, seven buddy, DB every buddy, time. Bro. Buddy been going ham, but he can't throw the ball to himself. So we take the quarterback out. Come on, man. Yeah. That sounds you know, good. It sounds you know, good. Nine other teams try to do that shit too. Get <laughs> That's how you win. <laughs> he said nine other teams try to do the same. Hey, look, thing. look. I still don't understand why he think I'm a pick. Georgia. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my school. Yeah, he went I, just, I just, just see what's going on. That's man. not realistic. He funny. Right. He got just, jokes. Right. He got, that's right. why he laughing. Yeah. Like, he just mad because he ain't never you beat know. me before. That's all. Oh, that's all that's all that do. Oh, shut got, that down. Hey, Ooh. hey. He would shut that down, bro. <laughs> I got a national championship. Okay. We will. I got a championship. NFC championship. Who's going to fuck bragging about that? You got one? No, because I don't got to brag about that shit. Pat Mahomes hit my ass. He said he don't want to play that game. He don't want to play no more. He don't want to play that game. He got an NFC championship, bro. He's talking about college, bro. I can talk about something I got. That's like like Michael Chandler saying, it's all right, I got second place in this one-on-one fight. Yeah. That's second place, nigga. Man, he got beat up, bro. <laughs> hey, he got damn man. Man. Hey, he, he was doing good, up, though. He man. was in that hole. All I'm saying is, you ain't got one. No. No, we all... Uh, either black or Marvel fans in here. What you mean black? <laughs> Us, nigga, black. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, Marvel we're, fans. We're, we're either black <laughs> or Marvel fans. Uh, I ain't seen movie yet. I ain't seen it. Oh, uh, y'all ain't seen it? I ain't seen it. I ain't seen, I ain't seen, I ain't seen see, it That's how I know I ain't got no job. Nigga, I ain't seen it twice. <laughs> nah, Damn. we just got back. I'm going to take got, my kids to can, see it tomorrow. Say, you got, okay. you where's got kids. Where's the age? I'm going to take my kids to see it tomorrow. Both times. Wow. Nah, they ready. I'm going to take them to see it tomorrow. Wow. I'm going Wednesday. All right, guys. We was out of town. We was out of town. We just got back in town, so. Congratulations, y'all. I hope y'all kids and I hope y'all know. I'm gonna um, pee before you go in there. I'm a, they say motherfucking is, is no, yeah, it's, 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 it's one. I got to That means I gotta go to the one where they bring you the food. Then, oh yeah, yeah, right. you, yeah. That's where right. I be going. Yeah, yeah. Man, them got churros you. is banging. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kick, kick them my churros feet up, bitch. is That's banging. Dope. Them churros smack. Hey, now, I was just explaining what was it to you, Nick, about like the other day the Titans, they who they were playing. Uh, who the fuck? And they drove the ball Thursday night. They drove the ball all the way down the field. Of course. Uh, Derrick Henry Green, pounding uh, it. Green, Green, Bay? Bay. Yeah, Green Bay. And they get to like the four, to the four-yard line, 18th play, fourth and two, whatever the fuck it was, and the defense ended up getting a stop. Mm. Now, I was explaining to him, like, 
as a defender, you just got your ass whooped for 17 fucking plays. I'm talking about all the way back there. Yeah. And they drive you all the way up here. You on the on the field the entire time. Uh-huh. Yeah, you didn't gave up a first down. You didn't get a TFL and then got a penalty. It's been all type of crazy shit going on through 18 plays. And I was just describing her like the late, feeling. Though, bro. They've they been doing it as of late. The feeling of that, like getting that oh, stop. Yeah. It was a great feeling. <sighs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you did your job. You stopped them from scoring. Right. Especially if it's fourth down. And it took 17, 18 plays to get that. It don't, shit it don't matter how long it takes. Right. Shit me, dude. It, Packers it, did the same thing against the Wolves. It, it was the Cowboys, wasn't it? Same thing. Yeah. I don't know. I Titans just, is playing. They play like I call it like bow constrictor. Football. They they like kind of bring yeah, you away, the and then they, they you know <laughs> yeah. especially think about the like any team. Okay, Packers ain't playing that good this year, but they were starting to get their shit together a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Aaron Rodgers was starting to find his guy Watson. You know the rookie mm-hmm. or whatever starting to get in stride. But the way that the Titans play. They're going to keep Aaron Rodgers off the field and do that yeah, drive. Yeah. Do like you said, although they didn't score on that one, but they like they, they took somebody, six, yeah. they took like six, seven minutes off the clock. You know and what I mean? Kept Aaron score. Rodgers off yeah. the field. Yep, and then yep. the defense is already hot. <laughs> so now they're getting, at least Aaron Rodgers is getting the ball backed up with a defense that's going to come out and get mm-hmm. after his ass. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to put pressure Speaking on you with four. And they just got to <clears throat> get hope that pressure gets there so your quarterback yeah. don't got time to set up and find and expose some of the um, holes in the secondary because there are some, but at least they're starting to patch them up. Speaking of defense, I got to give my young boy Day Day a shout-out. David Long, hey, boy been playing his ass off. One of them other little ass linebackers, 5'10", 5'11", 220, 225, 230, whatever. <laughs> yeah, he little now. yeah. But that motherfucker coming downhill. Yeah, he's playing. Um, you know what? <clears throat> yeah, shout out to David Long Jr. He's definitely doing his thing. Uh, I met him several years ago. I think maybe he was a rookie or something with, um, with Rashad Evans. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The boys came through. We were just chopping it up. And, um, you know, he was like, oh, he, he's like, he wasn't out there yet, but he knew yeah, once he got good. his opportunity, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's good to see him get out there and shine. And even now, Watching him play, because even the first game of the, of the season, the first couple games, man, I, I don't like the format with, like, less preseason because them cats is getting out, they rusty. They're getting right. out on the field rusty. Right, they, yeah. they looking like trash, and you wondering right. why this is looking like... Because you ain't hit nobody. You ain't yeah. did nothing. Yeah. Them yeah. team right. practices is no cool. Reps. That's cool. But if you ain't getting no reps in the preseason, that's, that's, that's crazy. But now, obviously, this football season is really going now. And David Long Jr., he's playing really instinctive. No, not more, more or less, you, you could tell he's studying. Where last year, he would be now like he, more off he instincts loose. and stuff yeah. like that. Now he's, uh, you could tell he's studying. He knows where to be. He understands how the offense is trying to attack the defense. He understands where he fits um, within the defensive scheme. So, you know, he understands not every time it's for him to make a play. Sometimes mm-hmm. he just got to be a part of the puzzle and let somebody else do their job. So, mm-hmm. you know, he's definitely um, putting himself in a position to get paid. You want to see a little motherfucker that's on, like, yeah, he definitely a little. Mm-hmm. Just watch him after any time he make a play. He's just going to be the little motherfucker that's going through trying to bump all the old linemen. I couldn't. <laughs> Jay, they be going through the hell like that. I be like, get your ass. Oh, man. He be talking that shit, though. He going to talk that. I be loving that I shit. never had, like, Ray Lewis, he used to, I felt like he, he used to always, he was definitely a talker on defense and be making all the damn plays and shit. Mm-hmm. I just felt that just took too much energy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you I had to conserve like my shit? energy. Nah. Oh, if somebody say something to me, yeah, but ain't nobody saying nothing to me. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no old line, but no, <laughs> nobody saying no, nothing no, to me. No old if they could do what yeah. they want, we gonna rock. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna rock. I'm gonna clear that shit up early. Because if he's saying something to me early in the game, that thing he gonna have his way with me all game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, we ain't doing that. We gonna get this. Yeah. We gonna nip real, this real. shit in it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go nip it to the. On to the next yeah. place. So like, nah, <laughs> like. But that's how I felt about because I was like, I got before I start talking too much shit. I'm gonna ahead, give me a couple of these licks in. Like, I'm gonna lock your ass up on the punt return, and I'm in the middle of that. I'm probably to say a little crazy, some crazy shit. Then we're gonna get through with that. I'm just gonna walk away. Come yeah, back. Yeah, nah, I'll choke, I'll choke your ass. Oh, out yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna do all that <laughs> shit. You're gonna think I'm being friendly. Cool, yeah, yeah. Then I'm just like them, let me just see that's what I'm saying. Pastor team, you most time going against the same person every fucking time. Oh, point, yeah. point time. So it's always recycling the same two, three motherfuckers. So 
after I got your ass on punt, I got you on punt return, kick off, and I just de- whooped your ass, and I made a major tackle while you trying to block me. Over with. You done fucked up. I'm on your yeah. ass all day now. Yeah, that's, the, that's the, yeah, that's the goal to dominate your um, mm-hmm. opposition. Your you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Dominate your opponent. Like, it doesn't always happen because they work hard too yeah, yeah, yeah. and all For that sure. stuff. You know, you yeah. don't want to go, you know, you got to respect the game, but fuck them, you know, at the end mm-hmm. of the day, you know. What was your biggest moment uh, in the league? Um, Shit, I think when... um. When I got my second contract, that was my biggest moment yeah. to me. Like, yeah, that's what it's you know, that's what it's for. Like, like the game, yeah. the games are games. You try and play and win and get AFC championship rings and then get that opportunity to play in the Super Bowl. And as far as I got was the AFC championship. You know, played on, got to play in the playoffs six years, which was dope. You know, mm-hmm. having that playoff experience, you Man. know, some motherfuckers play 10, 11 years and don't go yeah, to the playoffs. Yeah. To the That's playoffs. a lot of empty yeah. seasons. Thanks. You still had a great NFL career, got to have the ride and the experience, but never to experience. Your biggest experience might have been like Monday Night Football, yeah. which is dope. That's dope, but. That's dope, but yeah. it ain't the playoffs. Like, it's a whole different energy when you out yeah. there on that yeah. field. So, um, you know, I feel like I accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish except win, you know, defensive MVP and go to a Super Bowl. Um, shit, I, you know, I played, like, Hainsworth was, like, top three at defensive MVP, so I played, you know, obviously right. always played on top ten defenses yeah. and stuff like that, you know. So, um, you know, I would think the biggest moment was, like, just getting paid because at the end of the day, like, you, you play the game to, like, you know, play the game, you know what I mean? But then at the end of the day, when you don't have to have any worry about things got financially, some good, got some good you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. it's like, cool, now let's really rock, you yeah. know? And like, like, let's show that, like, you know, I deserved what, what I was given, what I Absolutely. earned, because I wasn't giving shit. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's real. I don't know if I ever talked about this as far as on the podcast, but uh, that adjustment going from safety to linebacker. Now, you just talked about playing cover three. I already know you're talking about you coming down in that, in that zone and you buzz into that flat and you moving and getting to see it from a distance, seeing it right. develop. Yeah. You at 12. Like coming down you on feel it. feel me? Yeah. And I think for me, that was the hardest part about I'm used to looking at the quarterback in the formation, seeing the whole triangle. Right. And then now I'm up four right. yards from that shit and I'm 195. <laughs> and they coming up fast. They move quick. So... Like, did you ever have that that situation, that problem? I mean, because you actually, you taller, so you can yeah. move, you can use your arms. I'm over here, like, I had to learn, all right, I got to start getting up on their chin. Just yeah. Headbutt. And I, so I started learning how to headbutt first. Get the motherfucking day, then I can use my hand. Yeah, I But sometimes I'm gonna be too that big. That's not legal at all. She said, I'm I mean, look, I know exactly the technique he's yeah, talking about. Yeah. Like, no, so those are the gotta, things, gotta butt the things you just said, like, you know, I had long arms, you know, mm-hmm. like my, my just what I was God given, like, I didn't know how to use, I didn't know nothing about. I just know that. You know, it's my motherfucking eye formation with a goddamn fullback saying, hey, I'm here. just going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hey, box of yeah. spill, coach. You know box of yeah. spill. Yeah. Which one? Like, I'm going to make a pie, yeah. bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. Um, but then as like you get more into, you know, into the position, you start playing mm-hmm. longer. I had a, um, I had a, a good, you know, um, GA that was there, graduate assistant Dan Conley, who had played mm-hmm. in the Syracuse. He was like a goddamn like six years, seventh <laughs> year senior. You know what I'm saying? But like oh, yeah. he had all these knee oh, surgeries. Shit. But he was like a, yeah, oh, he yeah. was like a, he's a Syracuse legend though. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Kind of like the dude you was talking about number four um, that you Nick was talking Marshall. Nick Marshall. Yeah, 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 how you, yeah, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? People might not know about, but, but like he, if you, you step on campus, he yeah, then yeah, people yeah, know yeah, who yeah. he is. You know what I'm saying? So I had I was fortunate to have him there. So he used to put. You know, like a lot of game on me. My roommate, um, you know, he was two years older than me. Cause I, like I said, when I got to school, we was wilding out. So um, they put me with like a upperclassman that mm. was wilding out when he first got there. But now he got his <laughs> yeah, shit together. Yeah, 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 and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Still my my, my big brother to yeah. this day. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that being said, like all these people put game on me, especially those mm. two. They played at a really high level at the collegiate. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I was green, but I was an athlete. 
but mm-hmm. I learn. Like, I'm yeah. a listen. That's the only way you get better is if you listen, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And Absolutely. you're willing to learn. Yep. Not all criticism is bad. It's, a lot of it is constructive. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Trying to help you get better. So um, that technique coming down, hat in hands, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to, you know, I got, you know, that's what that, that bull yeah, ring bull, is for. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Get up under uh-huh. their chin. Yes, sir. You Lock them out, get them no out the way. Oh, no, not too many people got the Nobody bull. wear that no more. Yeah, I mean, nah. the game is different now. It was oh, way, yeah. it was very, it was way more physical. Like definitely when I was like coming through. Y'all stay tuned. Next week we're gonna come in on part two, some heat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and don't forget the can of dips. Hey, we got the can of dips at Raw Room, Cold Raw Room. The link is on there. It's all there. We'll see you guys next week.